This tall longer review today may look familiar to viewers of Dragon's Den and replace a traditional hammer when clipping twin and CPC cables to the wooden structure of a building. Please note that these cables sometimes on site are called twin and earth. And because the Viper clip removes the need to hammer in cable fixings, it makes installs quicker, easier and safer. And for that reason, I'm in. So let's dive into the tool's features whilst you decide in the comments whether you're in or out. Sounds like a rich tool time, this. Impeccable timing, young man. So let's first of all take a look at the battery we've got in here. We've got a 20 volt battery. And how many of these do we get in the pack? You'll get two of them in a pack. And if I press the button on the back, we can see the LED indicator is fully charged. So how many of the clips can I install with a fully charged battery? Uh, you're looking approximately 1500 clips per charge. Okay, and it takes about 30 minutes to charge the battery up from flat, and you've got two of those, so you're well covered in that respect. Yes. As always, the other features that we get in here, if I gently press the trigger, we've got an LED torch. We have, and you've also got the belt hook. The cable clips come in two colours, grey and white, and in strips of 20. And the part of the clip that supports the cable is made of plastic. And what sizes are they, Rick? So you've got one to one and a half. 2.5 and 4 to 6. Okay, and when you load it into the Viper clip, there's a really nice way of finding out whether you're running low. There is. There is a window here where you can see the green plastic enter it. You yep. know you're getting fairly low, but we've got it here at the top section, so we know at this point that we should be reloading it. We've teased it out long enough, Rick. Shall we uh, put some clips in there and start supporting this cable on the bench? I think we ought to. We can use the 2.5 millimeter squared cable clips, and you notice some of them have a metal strap on it. We'll come back to that later on. Ever so easy process in order to get them into the Viper clip. Once they're in, Rick, can you just bring in a small piece of 2.5 in for me? Yeah, look at that. So by design with the well and the way the clips are, it helps you keep that straight and flat. And we've got the actuator or switch at the front. Yep. So if that's not compressed, the Viper clip isn't going to fire. So if it was to be on the skew, it's not going to fire. So you put your first clip in off camera and you're going to use that now to set the position of the remaining clips. I have, yeah. So let me just pop that on there, slide it on. Oh, back to that as a stop. Yeah, that's and it. And then you can fire that clip in. And there we go. And as I move along, just rock that in there and slide back. And then we'll fire it again. Okay, that and is there really we easy. You need to do a couple more for me, Rick. So I like that sliding back thing. So that sets about a 200 millimeter clipping distance. It does, yes. It reminds me of the old days where it used to be hammer length. We're just going to move on to the 6mm, so I'm just going to drop these 2.5 out. Got to apologise, Rick. I can't find the grey one, so we're going to have to go in with white. I'm sure there'll be comments. I'm going to drop those in. Exactly the same process? Exactly the same process. So we'll just put that first fixing in there. And then again, we'll slide that on top, move back, and then away we go. Okay, you and work then... your way down towards me then? Yeah. I like it. So we just rinse, rinse and repeat. Keeping that consistent length throughout the cable. Well, that truly looked effortless, Rick, but it reminds me of the traditional method where you have a hammer, the cable and the clips and just wish you had a third hand. Yeah, and it's also worth considering the Viper clip will fit into the trickiest of spaces. It's compact, well-balanced, lightweight in design and even when working overhead. While Rick is clipping cables above his head, it brings me nicely to surface wiring systems and premature collapsing. And the Viper clip has got you covered. The insulated clip, which means every time you use it, only a plastic part of the clip is in contact with the cable, is supplemented for premature collapsing by a metal strap. And these can be inserted throughout a run at the discretion of the electrician in order to prevent the wiring system falling down and becoming a risk of entanglement. And of course, we've had a little play with them and we've set fire to cables and saw the fantastic results that the Viper clip gave. I know where the comments are going. There are clips on the market that are fully metallic to prevent premature collapse into the wiring system. And we've had a look at those in previous videos on the channel. But what we found with those style of clips is you've got to be very careful when you actually send them into the timber structure because the clip itself can compress the cable and in a worst case scenario, maybe damage that cable and make the clip live or even cause a short circuit. As well as the Viper clips giving you a super secure fixing for your cables, when used in conjunction with eye joists, the nails do not penetrate through to the other side, like the three other fixings I have here, which means that if there was a cable on the other side, there's no risk of damage or a pipe, meaning we keep those plumbers happy. As I've been requested to step to the back of the room while you make your decision whether you're in or out. Hang on, Gaz, hang on. Before you wrap this up, I think we need a race on this just to find out how fast it actually is. And that means we're gonna have a Rick's Tool Time special. And in order to see that video, I've left it in the pinned comment and in the description. Who's gonna win? Me.